Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson at Strata Santa Clara 2014. I'm here with Lutzfinger. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How's life? Been very good. So you're at LinkedIn recently, like last three months or so. Absolutely. And you just finished writing a book, and it was for O'Reilly, which is nice. And it's called Ask, Measure, Learn. Yes. Three words. Three words, only a, three words. As a title. That's very unique. And, and so let me ask you, that is a really unique title. How did you come up with the idea of that as a title and the, the concept of the book? Well, the, the, the like we are here at the Strata at a big data conference. Like um, twenty percent of this is technology, eighty percent of this is big air. So a lot big of air? big air, a lot of big hype. You know, like people <laughs> saying, "Wow, like this is great data. It solves world problems." I build a company um, who works with big data. Like we collect a lot of social media data and we analyze it for. Um, governments. So we have a lot of governmental clients. Uh, we have as well like a lot of NGOs, Olympic Games. We're doing Sochi at the moment, um, FIFA, and so on and so forth. Um, and in that work, I realized that people like you go to people and they say, "Big data, big data gives me big solutions," but they don't know what those solutions are. So they kind of just say, "Like, okay, now you have the data, solve it, do, do it for me." But the trick is actually not the data, it's not the technology, and I don't want to discourage anybody, like it's great the technology we have, it's great the data. The problem is actually the question, what do you want to solve yeah, with that? Yeah. That's the reason why um, my co-author, who is the Dean of Cornell Business School, Sumitra Jutta. And who's this? Sumitra Jutta, he's my co-author. Okay. He's the Dean of Cornell Business School, and myself, we came up with the concept of ask, measure, learn, and that re uh, like area. Ask is the most important. It's trying to understand what you want to do. Measure, find the right data, find the right metrics, and learn from that. Apply machine learning or organizational change or whatever it is. We, we didn't say technology scraping, whatever. We kind of said like ask, right, or measure, domain, learn. domain knowledge for ask. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Because like, like, uh, we noticed in, in our company ourselves when we're doing some data analysis ourselves that two or three of us have to work together because some of us have different perspectives yep. on the data and what to ask for, whereas the data analytics people know how to munge the data and, and get the data answers for yes. you, but may not ask the right questions to begin Absolutely. with. Absolutely, absolutely. So how, how in your book, let's, let's unpack this a little bit, what is the method you, you have for ask? What, what is, what is okay. your secret sauce? There is no secret sauce. Okay. Every business has a very individual set of needs. Every business is slightly different. And even if you compare close competitors, what they consider their core recipe is often very, like, slightly different, except maybe you're in retail. But um, so the ask is also different. Now, the ask depends on, and, and the complexity comes in that a lot of managers do not really know what to do with data. So for those guys, data scientists are people with a blue hat on it, kind of like coming directly out of Harry Potter's uh, uh, castle. Um, so in order to uncover this, I'm, uh, like we approach this in the book with a storytelling approach. So we break it down by department. We have a section on sales. What can you do in sales? with data. How can you use it? Goes over recommendation engines, goes over uh, market, like uh, approaches how to find right sales leads. Then you, we go into the next chapter, which is marketing. We go to the next chapter, PR, and so on and so forth. So we go through a whole organizational setting and go and take mostly social media data, okay. uh, but you could apply this framework to any, any other setting as well and kind of saying, okay, here I have data. What am I doing with it? Now, a fair question would be, why did you do this with social media data? Reason is, all companies have that. If I'm looking now uh, at Target at Walmart, um, they have a totally different data set of yeah. consumer behavior, customer behavior, and what I would tell them, looking at their data, is totally different what I would tell, um, for example, I don't know, like a, a company who is drilling oil. They have a different data set. But all of them do have in appearance in social media do have the ability to access social media. So this is equal game and therefore the way of approaching it is safe.
So you're you're but you're taking a holistic view of an Absolutely. organization. So everyone's involved in yes. this, and and so your message really is to an organization that everyone in your company should be involved with big data. Absolutely. I mean, I think everybody should be involved with data, no matter what. The way I I wrote the book was actually being involved with data, uh, not because it's the content of the book, but as well as I got the reviewers from O'Reilly. Afterwards, I ranked them, I stacked them, and I changed the whole order of the book by putting the best chapters first. So the ask chapters are first? The, 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 well, the, like there is a whole idea of the, the, uh, how Ask Measure Learn works, yeah, yeah. and then there is the storytelling, and people like a lot the storytelling approach. So the storytelling actually first, and the theory comes last. Okay. So if, if there's one message that you could give all these people that don't know what the book is about, and they haven't listened to this video, what is your, I guess, elevator pitch for why people would consume this book? Because the answer is 42. <laughs> 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 that was, uh, was 42 that was probably a little bit too, too quick but it's true it's 42 it's 42 like uh, um, so where does 42 come from like uh, like you probably know the way you're smiling I, I assume that you well, know to me to, well no to me 42 is Jackie Robinson Jackie Robinson so I went to athletics right off the bat and Jackie Robinson was number 42 and they retired his jersey from MLB, and okay. on one day a year, everyone wears okay. 42. Well, to the European audience now, yes. <laughs> the European <laughs> audience, and you're like, you can tell I'm German. To the European audience, 42 means Douglas Adams, the hitchhiker's guide through the galaxy. Okay, yeah, yeah. So in, the, in that book, uh, like, um, they try to solve the problem of uh, life, the universe, and everything. And this, the answer to that problem is 42. Okay. Now. At the moment, we, we understand that data is value. We understand it is a little bit more expensive to keep it all and have it all liquid, approachable. And then you need those guys who can actually work with the data, which call data scientists, and I'm like running a team at LinkedIn, or one of those. But what we don't know is actually, what are we, want, what are we doing with all those? And the, very often, they want us to do everything. And the answer to that is 42. So the one minute pitch is, or the one second pitch the answer is, is, don't go for 42, go for the real question. And that question you only find if you ask yourself what to do with the data. Okay, excellent. Data by itself is not the reason. So asking what to do with the data, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes. What you would do with the data, if you could solve one problem in the world, any problem by applying data effectively to it, what would that problem be? I would cure cancer. Cancer? Cancer. Can cancer is one of those things. Like, you have an enormous number of research out there. It's, um, we don't really know, like, why? broadly speaking, why that exists, but we do know that it has a behavioral component to it. So, behavioral components, you have mobiles, you have, like, we, we know so much about behavior, if we would follow closely behavioral patterns to understand what leads to cancer, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we would find something. Interesting. So the premise is that behavioral activities can affect or not? Yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're like, they're, this Rather is true, they're, 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 like, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A genetic, it's, a, about, about, like, it's, it's both of those. Yeah. But um, no, the genetics is, we, we're trying to do this already. Yeah. Um, in, but beyond genetics, I think there is a behavioral oh, component yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. Like where you live, what you do. I mean, like yeah. you can see there, like, uh, you, you do have certain cancer developments and like, okay, if you normalize it out, it's probably due to economic situations and so on and so forth. And I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. I'm a quantum physicist by training. However, I do think that healthcare, broadly speaking, healthcare will benefit enormously if, and that's a big if, we overcome... Um, legal and privacy issues. Huge, huge thing. Now, since you asked me for one thing, I kind of thought cancer to be more specific because healthcare is broad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously. Yes. Beside healthcare, you can save the media industry, you can save retail. I would actually claim that a lot of businesses in the future will only survive if they do ask, measure, learn correctly. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like everything which is at the margin... Um, like standardizable or 
um, uh, like what's the word at the margin like th that it's that everybody sells the same uh, uh, what's it called commodity a commodity yeah so every industry which is working with a commodity it comes only down to the point of how well do you do this and what was just in time for the 80s is oh, data yeah. for now yeah yeah so all those problems will be solved but that's all thinking really big healthcare <laughs> yes good so congratulations on your book publishing you. and we look forward to seeing more from you in the future absolutely thanks Lutz happy to be here